A unique basketball tournament kicks off in Philadelphia this weekend. It's hosted by the National Gay Basketball Association. And one of its stars is a familiar face who made history on and off the court. NBC 10's Keith Jones sat down with his former Villanova roommate, whose brave decision years ago opened the door for tournaments like this one to thrive. It's a simple game. Stay in bounds. Put the ball in the basket. But it wasn't that simple for former Villanova star and Newcastle County native Will Sheridan. Part of his life was out of bounds. It was like living two lives or like this kind of um, unspoken secret or truth. Will was closeted, yet fans of opposing Philly schools let him hear it, saying words we won't repeat on television. Uh -huh. I just felt bad for my family. Uh, my grandmother would be at games, my mom to have her child be ridiculed like that publicly. It took a lot of maturity for her to be in that, you know, and then she was also coming to terms with um, the reality of it, right? And so was one of his teammates. A player didn't want to be my roommate because they would be perceived as gay, which is crazy to think about now. But that person has since apologized. And then as a result, you became our roommate, right? And we shared things and we became friends. Yeah. And um, I think that helped. For years, we roomed together on road trips, part of the new Villanova basketball family. And during those years in hotel rooms on away games, I witnessed what Will called his internal nightmare and also his resilience. What kind of fears did you have? Oh, I mean, the fear of losing everyone that's important to you because of you're being yourself. Yet Will faced those fears after graduating and publicly came out, becoming the first major college basketball player to do so. But it didn't entirely quiet the storm. His mother, strong and supportive, his father passed away in 2016. Did your dad end up accepting you? No. Me and my dad had a great relationship. It just was ahead of his time, right? And I'm okay with that. I, I think that my sister is also a lesbian and we don't have the same mom, so he left me with a best friend. And it's that support system that elevated him, first finding his voice in music, Welcome to the jungle. Welcome. then finding his purpose in a familiar place. I talked to Coach Wright, who's, you know, dare I say, a paternal figure in my life, or a mentor, um, and he was like, why don't you apply to this company? And that led him to USLI, an insurance company based in Delaware County, and ironically, yeah, oh. back inbounds, playing on a USLI-sponsored team and the National Gay Basketball Association. Yeah. So visibility is important. This is important right now. So that someone that looks like me might be from where I'm from or not. And once you find that community, love them up, and they'll love you back. I think that's what I found with NBA. I think that is definitely what I have at work. Reporting at Villanova, Keith Jones, NBC 10 News. Oh, Keith, thank you for that. And part of Sheridan's job is encouraging people to be their authentic selves. He recruits college students and uses his diverse life experiences to educate and connect with his colleagues serving on the diversity, equity, and inclusion mm, team. Great story. Really great to see that.